welcome to our channel. So we are making tofu pasta in a bowl um, in a very special, unique way, okay? Um, I'm just gonna add some olive oil to this so it doesn't stick as I'm talking, okay? Okay, so basically that was two tablespoons if you want that. Um, but really, welcome. All our written recipes are in the description in the comments, okay? So if you feel lost during this video at all, like at any point, go ahead and click the description below and get uh, the written recipe. So we're doing tofu pasta in the bowl. We have some bar nut squash here. I'm gonna move this over here so you guys can see. Uh, all in noodle form here in the pan. We're about to fry it up, okay? Uh, we're gonna add some, some broccoli in here. So we got about a head of broccoli roughly this is frozen broccoli but you know roughly a head of broccoli if you got it okay we're gonna put that in the pan here and then we have a quarter here we go here's the glorious platter i got we have a quarter uh onion chopped up okay and then we have um about four ounces of tofu here okay and what i did is i marinated it during the day in craft barbecue sauce. It's a very low sugar uh, barbecue sauce. Here, I'll actually go in the fridge and grab it for you guys so you know which one I'm talking about. I'm gonna put this in first and then I'm gonna grab the barbecue sauce so y'all can see it. Because this should be cooking up with these veggies here. Okay, so we're gonna start it with this in our pan here. <laughs> But the barbecue sauce, the Kraft original barbecue sauce, okay, um, is actually quite low in sugar, which is why we used it. And we only used about a tablespoon of it. And I'll grab it and show you what it is. So this is the Kraft barbecue sauce that we got. That, um, it's actually, um, what does it say here? Seven grams of sugar per two tablespoons. We only used a tablespoon here. And me and Hubby are gonna be sharing this, so. There we go. So not too bad for sugar wise. We do want to try and limit our sugar, right? Now, normally we do um, make barbecue sauce from scratch, but when we're just using it for flavoring, we do just use the cap because that's what we have found best is for sugar wise. But if you're going to use a lot of barbecue sauce, I would make your barbecue sauce from scratch. <laughs> So this is lots of veggies in here. Okay, here we go. Now we're simmering this up and basically we're going to have this simmering in the olive oil just until basically the broccoli is thawed, okay, is what you want to do. Then we're going to add um, some marinara sauce, okay, that we've made from scratch using some tomatoes, we just kind of crush them up, and it's gonna be our marinara sauce. We're gonna add a whole bunch of spices so y'all can um, uh, just kind of see how we make it from scratch sort of thing here. There we go. Okay, so the broccoli is basically thawed. So we're gonna add our marinara sauce and then put a cup of crushed tomatoes here, okay. I have my frying pan just on low, by the way. You guys are asking. Halfway between low and medium. <laughs> okay. So we're going to stir this in. And then we'll get our spices and garlic added to this. And then we're going to let it simmer, basically. So you can do this with... Um, spaghetti noodles, if you make spaghetti noodles from scratch, you kind of lower up that sugar. Zu uh, zucchini noodles as well um, is great for um, this kind of pasta as well. Basically for the butter nut squash noodles, you can um, you can try it with the, the noodle maker. It's a little bit hard. So we use a, a cheese grater actually for this. So that was a lot easier to make them if you're asking. There we go. 
So this is all loaded up, all mixed together, okay? We're gonna add the um, garlic here. We have a tablespoon of garlic. I'm gonna add this right here, okay? We got a tablespoon of garlic. Okay, we got a tablespoon of paprika. I'm gonna add that into here. Okay, we got a half a tablespoon of, let me just make sure I got all the right, yeah, half a tablespoon of basil. I wanna make sure I got the right measurement, making sure it was a half a tablespoon. I wrote it all down for the video. <laughs> and oregano, okay. Then we have a teaspoon of chives, okay. And we have half a teaspoon of celery seed. And we have half a teaspoon of um, crushed black pepper there. Okay. And we're going to mix this all together. And then we're going to add a little bit of our salt. Now we use pink Himalayan salt at our house because it is loaded up with electrolytes. Okay. So we really like that because we do eat a lower end carb here. Even with all the vegetables that we eat, it's still lower end carbs um, because we're not big on breads unless we make it from scratch or cakes or anything like like muffins or wraps. We make it all from scratch or buns, stuff like that. So because we make it all from scratch and there's no added sugar to it, it's much lower in carbs too. And the flour that we use, we don't actually use wheat flour in our house either. either. Here we go. Here's our spices up in here. Okay, and then we have some pink lemon salt. We're just gonna add a pinch here. We actually just add pink lemon salt a little bit to all our meals here. To keep those electrolytes up. <laughs> the natural way. That and dill pickles and pick, dill pickle juice. Just if you were, weren't aware, there's natural ways to bring up your electrolytes. You don't need to go buy supplements. So dill pickle juice is great, pink lemon salt is great. Even sea salt is pretty good for it as well. Okay, so there we go. It's all mixed together. Now, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna let this simmer for 10 minutes on low here. And it's just gonna cook up and uh, we're gonna have ourselves some tofu pasta in a bowl, okay? And with the tofu um, marinating and the barbecue sauce, it's gonna have like a little bit of like a barbecue flavor to it with the, the um, homemade marinara sauce. So it's like, it's really good. Okay. <laughs> Especially when you bite into it. It's like, oh, mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. But that's our video for today. Um, if you want the written recipe, of course, you can see it in the description below. If you like this video, want to see more of it, you can actually hit our logo on the right hand side and uh, hit subscribe that way and subscribe to our channel. We actually upload two new videos every single week. So you'll always have some ideas for supper for you and your family. And we try and keep um, family meals that um, our girls like. Our girls are going to have like a little bit of this on the side um, of what... Um, of their meatballs they want meatballs okay so we're giving them <laughs> they didn't want the tofu they want meatballs so we're making the meatballs with this on the side <laughs> um and uh that's that's what our channel is all about is family um recipes that you're gonna enjoy your kids are gonna enjoy my kids are three and four and they they enjoy this okay so i hope you guys have a fantastic day and i'll see you guys next video bye guys